In this video, we're going to look at a legal problem called graph valid tree. So we're given a graph of the number of nodes labeled from 0 to n minus 1. Uh, you're, you're given an integer n and a list of edges, where edge at i is a at i and b at i. So we have two vertex, right? We have two uh, nodes. And then this is basically represents that they are connected. Okay, And it indicates that there is an undirected edge between nodes a at i and b at i in the graph. So return true if the edges of the given graph makes, uh, make up a valid tree. So false otherwise. So now let's take a look at example, right? So you can see we have node 0 has a, uh, has a child of node 1, has a child of node 2, has a child of node 3, node 1 has a child of node 4, right? And you can see that this is a valid tree, right? First of all, uh, there is no disjoint sets, right? There is no uh, different separate components. so this is valid. And the other thing is that you can see that every single node has only one, one parent, right? In the tree, there's no way that we can have node has multiple parents. So we will keep track of that. And then we also have a other example, right? Like this, where we have each and every single node um, that has uh, one parent, but you can see that node three has more than two parents. So this is not good, right? So we can just return false. Um, and then you can see that basically uh, this is invalid, right? Uh, because no three has two two children, right? Sorry, two parents, right? You can see that no zero is connected to no one. No one has no two. No four is okay. But when no one has connected to no three, no three already has a parent of no two. So that's not going to work. So we're going to return false. So how can we solve this problem? So so one way we can solve this problem, we can use a BFS or DFS to, to do a search, right? Uh, and then try to see if the if a node that has multiple parents and um, a node and, and check to see if there is a disjoint set, right? So that way works, but what we can do better is we can use UnionFind. And basically a couple of videos ago, I talked about um, what UnionFind is and how UnionFind works. So if you're unfamiliar with UnionFind, I highly recommend to check out that video before this one. So basically the idea is the same, right? We're basically trying to find, uh, first of all, keep track of the number of components, right? Keep, keep track of the number of separate components that we have. And then we also keep track of their parents so that when we union them, we can be able to get the, the other subset, right? Their parents to point to the other uh, subset's parent. Right or the other other subsets root, so you can see that we basically find the root of their parents. If their parents are the same, we can just return false. Actually, right in this case for this problem, we can just return false because in this case, if they have two the same if they have the same parents, right? No two is connected to no three, right? That's good. Before that, no three is parents is no three. And then when I get when I get to when I get no one connected to no three. You can see that they have the same parent, which is no zero. So, if that's the case, we can just return false, right? Because we cannot uh, connect them, we cannot union them if their parents are the same. So we can just return false, right? We can just modify this class and solve this problem, right? And another thing is that we have to watch out for is to keep track of how how many um, basically how many uh, components, right? Number of components or number of subsets that we have. Because every time when we union them, we will make sure we modify the number of components. So if we have more than one components here, right? Because you can see this is just one because they're all connected. If we have more than one component, then this will be false. So now let's try to solve this problem. I basically just copy this and paste it here. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this class, I did implement this class. Uh, talk about how I implement this class uh, in the other video called Union Find Data Structure. So I'll put a link on my on here, and then you can watch. But basically, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this Union Find function, or sorry, uh, create instance of this Union Find class. We're passing in in this number of nodes that we have, right? So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna iterate each and every single edge that we have for each and every single edge and edges basically we're just going to 
union those two connections, right? When we do, when we call this, when we um, define this instance of union fine, uh, we basically already set up the parents, the sides, and all that. So what we have to do now is just union union them all, right? So in this case, edges, sorry, edge at i, sorry, edge at zero, right? That's the first node. So we're gonna say uf dot union edge at zero, we're going to union those two nodes and one. So if we can be able to union them all, then we continue. Otherwise, what we have to do is we have to return false, right? So basically what we can say is that if we cannot union those two nodes, we can just return false. At the end, what we're going to do is that we can return true, but the thing is that there could be a situation where we have this join sets, right? They might not have the same parents, uh, they might pass this condition at the end, the loop, but they might have separate disjoint sets. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if the join sets of number of components, right, is actually uh, check to see if it's equal to one, right? If there's only one subset that works, right, that's a valid tree. Um, otherwise, we just return false. Um, let's see why. So, edge at zero, edge at one. So void. Oh yeah, I I for one thing that I forgot to do is probably just remember to modify this function, right? So it should return boolean. And if they have the same parents, we're just gonna return false. At the end, we're gonna return zero. Not uh, true. Sorry. Uh, if they can be able to union the two notes. And now let's try to submit, and you can see we have our success. Okay.